Both fighters up to scratch for this women's flyweight bout. Round number one. Black trucks for Jessica Link. Burgundy trunks for Sharissa Sagala. Sagala, the aggressor, coming forward. And as Link said, these are the critical 20 seconds. Sagala, right cross to the body, right to the head. And Link, once again, putting that head up a little bit. She might want to take that chin down. Tight, straight striking. Big punches from Sharissa Sagala. Now on the level change to the body. Sagala, rear right uppercut. Link firing back. Half tie plum held by Sagala. It's an active clinch. That's why referee Andrew Glenn correctly letting this go. Uppercuts now from Jessica Lynch. Half tie plum of her own. Yeah, he's definitely a little more in there because they are doing a lot of damage to each other. Both fighters with the half tie plum. Now into the mid range. Sagala right back to the inside. To the body goes Jessica Link. Rear right uppercut again to the head goes Sagala. 55 seconds remaining round number one. And this might be one of the longest clinches I remember seeing, John. And on cue, that's the commentator's jinx, Chris. There's the separation <laughs> from Andy Glenn. You must have heard me. Now 40 seconds remaining round number one. Now it's Link coming forward. Off of the right jab from the southpaw stance. Sagala not getting through with the right hand. She talked about stepping outside that foot with the left foot and uh -uh, getting that right, right down the pipe. Wasn't Sm able to accomplish it there, though. Smear of blood on the nose of Sharissa Sagala. Sagala missing with the overhand right, countered with the left hook by Link. And five eight to Sagala's five four, and standing very upright with Sagala continuing to duck under. Accentuating that height differential. Final seconds, round number one. Blood flowing freely, cut on the bridge of the nose on the face of Sagala as we move to round two. Set for round number two. All three judges going 10 9. Sharissa Sagala in round number one. Mm. A little surprised by that. Straight jab from Sagala. It's the right hand from Sagala. Ruled as a slip by Andrew Glenn. Oh, really? I thought that was going to be considered that game. I'd like to see that one again. High tight striking guard from Sagala. That was what Sagala talked about right there. She waited for her opponent to get, come in and then she exploded. Did it right there again. She's waiting for her opponent to come in and then she plants and follows that right hand. Link showing her patience. She wants to be on the outside, right to the body from Sagala. See that blood flowing freely. It's the cut high on the bridge of her nose. Right hand, big left hook by Link on the return. Link finding her range here in round number two. Now to the inside. I think Link's doing very well. The main problem I see with her, she's keeping that chin straight up in the air. Just a big target at that point. Link pulling that punch back mid-flight. Link still coming forward from the outside. Seagal on her back foot. Good left hand, another big left hand now into the clinch. Link having a lot of success from distance. Good separation by Andrew Glenn. Final seconds, round number two. Good left hand, counter left by Sagala. Link walking through it, Sagala to the body. That is the end of the second round. The start of round number three. Can you see the patience of Jessica Link from the outside? Jessica Link coming into round number three again. Those are the true scores. Real-time open scoring here from the Kansas Athletic Commission. Again, Chris, the patience of Jessica Link. Staying long, 
Sagala stuck on the outside. And that's exactly what Link wants to do, stay out there. Every time Sagala comes in, she wants to pop it with that jab, pop it with that two, pop it with that hook. Sagala said, I'm willing to take risks in this fight. We've really not seen that since the opening minute of the fight in that long clinch when both fighters were throwing heavily from the half-tie point. Yeah, she's utilizing more of a strategy right here. Wait until Link comes and trying to fire back. And she has to mix it up a little bit more. She's got to start coming forward sometimes and then wait for her opponent to come forward sometimes. Again, though, Sagal has said, at times in this fight, I'm going to let Link lead, make her think that she's dictating when it's actually me setting a trap. Perhaps we're, that's what we're seeing. Perhaps it's just Link simply being more effective from distance. Link's doing a very good job in those clinches as well. She is utilizing her Muay Thai. She's able to land a lot of shots in there. Sagala trying to time the entry of Link. Couldn't quite do it. Into the clinch. Separation from Andrew Glenn. 20 seconds remaining round number three of this women's 125-pound bout. Short right hand. Sagala now wants to be in this range. Overhand right. Link pulling that smartly back to the outside. Sagala turning up the temperature, final seconds of round number three. Next stop, round four. This is very much turned into a distance fight in favor of Jessica Link. Sagala trying to work to the inside off of the straight punches, opening stages of round number four. Now you hear Sagala's corner yelling to get inside, but they're not really offering a way of how to get inside. I mean, get inside, that, that sounds a lot easier than it really is. The cut that opened up high on the bridge of Sagala's nose in round number one has not been a factor. Short left hand by Link, clubbing. Sagala keeping a very high, tight, disciplined striking guard. Link in and out, off of the jab. I'd like to see Sagala throw some feints make Link react, and that could get her to get inside a little easier. You throw a fate, make your opponent react, then you come in with that left hook, come in with that straight right. After your opponent, hands are already out of position. There, there's like no thought of a fate right now. Every time she comes, every time Sagala comes forward, Link knows this is the real deal, and then she can count. Sagala's corner just to the left of our commentary position, yelling, go, go, go. They want her on the inside. They want her in the pocket and in the clinch. Did you see she is stuck at distance? Link doing an outstanding job to this point in the fight, controlling this outside range. Yeah, staying exactly where she wants to. She can hit her opponent, but her opponent cannot hit her. Nothing on that jab from Sagala. The right hand on the entry. Good right hand from Sagala. Into the clinch, heavy uppercuts by Link gets the separation. That reopens the cut on the bridge of Sagala's nose. Link has some very good uppercuts from in that clinch. She talked about her Muay Thai, she's definitely utilizing that tonight. Sagala, again turning up the temperature into round four, she did at the end of round three. Link keeping the distance, and we move to the fifth and final round. Maximum of two minutes remaining in this fight. Clearly, Chris Sagala needs to find her way to the inside and then hold that position, either in the clinch or in the pocket. Well, not to hold the position. I want her to continue to throw punches from in that spot. Get in there. We want, we want hooks to the head. We want hooks to the body. Overhand lights. Uppercuts. Standing out where your opponent can hit you and you can't reach it is, is recipe for disaster, Shane. Link just using that jab from the southpaw stance as a range finder. Good entry by Seagal on the overhand right. Yeah, like we talked about, she talked about it. Stepping outside that, that left foot and, and throwing the straight right is perfect. She got needs to utilize that as many times as she can in this round. The real-time judges' scores, and again, these are the actual scores from the three Kansas Athletic Commission judges. 39-37, Link, 38-38, 38-38, Chris. Wow, close fight. 50 seconds remaining, fifth and final round. So 
to what we have. The winner of this round wins this fight. And, and both fighters know it, so that's a great thing. This, this fight's up, up for grabs. Into the clinch. Nearly a hammer fist to the waist from Jessica Link, but she turned it over enough to be legal. So go off the jab. So go again coming forward. Straight right hand by Sharissa Sagala. Sagala, the best sequence of the fight since the opening minute. The bell, the end of the bout. Kevin Champion scores the fight 48 47 in favor of Link. Greg DeVilbus, 48 47 in favor of Sagala. And Stephen Graham, 48-47 to the winner by split decision. Sharissa, the bare-knuckle sweetheart, Sigala!